Hello everyone, and welcome back to Fantasy Star Online 2. So, I was thinking of doing the usual uh, story, then exploration, and whatnot. Turns out there's an urgent quest going on. Uh, yeah, that looks big. <laughs> We're gonna go check that Which out. Which quest are you up for? Dignity of Steel Unleashed. Uh, Depression Target, Phantom Battleship Yamato. Ray. Do this on hard. And... Yeah. Alright. Good luck! I believe this is an AIS mission, or at least it might start as one. Base! Final Frontier. Aw, fence up M. It looks like this one already got started. Did already get started. All right, what are we dealing with here? Okay. Ow. Uh. Okay. Looks like I want to switch to a wind type weapon. Steam rollers, road rollers. Special round launches detected. Oh dear. All I see are explosions. Alright, ow! Autonomous avatar arm retreating! Deploying dash panels in the direction of the target! The... This is actually kind of annoying. So far I've not gotten to do anything. Oh, I missed. And... The constant... Uh, chatter from the lady for this mission is just it's bugging me. Ow. I'd say ow, but... Seems my defense ratings are a bit too much for hard mode. Every hit I take is only doing like one hit point. You Alright. Well, it looks like the guns are out already. How do I get anywhere around this ship? Everything is on fire! Completed! Wait, what's the signal? Abnormal readings detected. 
gonna get going again, right? Ignore the tutorial. Practice the AI had some more. And I probably need to probably need to adjust my volume. The target's barrier is mission. Ow, ow. How do I use the boost system that he was talking about. Okay. On my hot bar. I'm getting an intense energy reading from the target. Initiate erratic system sequence. Pulverize them immediately. I don't understand what's going on. Where it's full already. Well, actually, I guess there was actually some stuff I kind of didn't put away, like my jet boots when I switched classes. Uh, whatever. I didn't really deserve any of that stuff anyway. Maybe repeated attempts at that mission become fun later, but for a first time, no. Like, that, that wasn't great at all. 
I had no idea what I was supposed to be doing. And it was not only like the third time I think that I've used... Operation has ended. Thank you for your support. Not only like just the third time that I've used the AIS, uh, in the entire time I put into this game, uh, they threw in a couple new features that I didn't know about just for that fight. Alright, uh, I guess, first of all, let's clear up my inventory. Go it into the character, since my default storage is almost full. I'd love to be able to deposit multiple items at once. If there's a way, I don't know how. Uh, ooh! Upgrade to a skill I already have. Alright, for the most part, everything I clear out is all cleared out. Time for some story! Hey, uh... If I recall correctly, uh, the last time we did story, uh, one of the ships uh, in the Ark's fleet had been attacked, and that, as far as I'm, a, as far as I can tell, was likely a diversion uh, to uh, for someone to sneak in and steal the weapon that we've been piecing together, uh, and. Again, I'm assuming that the thief is, in fact, Persona, and he's the only one we know at this point who's been pursuing, uh, that weapon. Alrighty then. Why was it her? Hello. Hello. I'm only interested in one thing. Becoming stronger and eliminating the false bond. Doesn't sound like you at all. Please tell me. Why did she have to die? Why her? She was working so hard and doing her best despite her lack of talent and, and yet... Her lifelong dream was finally coming true, and, and yet... Sorry. That was a pointless question. The time for thinking is long past. All I have to do is eliminate every last false bond. That will put an end to everything. What happened while I was out? Yeah. I know now. That's the one and only thing I can do. What happened? What is peace anyway? Hey, um... I just want to thank you. I mean, like, for what you do. The rest of us can live in peace, because you are all out there fighting for us. Gratitude is all I can offer, so I'd like to at least voice it out loud. But sometimes I wonder, what is peace? All of us in the city live peacefully, but those of you in arcs out there are getting hurt. You never get to enjoy what you fight so hard for. Can it even be called peace when it's so fragmented, so... Incomplete? I can't remember. No, I don't even know. What does peace really mean? There I go rambling again. I know, I know. Everything's going to be okay, as long as you're here. In between fact and truth. 
That last scene got real philosophical. A new Divergence Matrix has been born. It straddles the precipice of reality and truth. I and we trust in your fulfillment. In the conclusion you will reach, believe in yourself. Believe in what you have accomplished and what you should achieve. This can't be possible. Uh, major characters appearing, Rogio. Oh, the scientist, I think. I have a report for you. What's up? Remember the soil sample from Nevarius I had you procure for me the other day? Well, the more I analyzed it, the stranger it started to seem. First of all, I learned that the soil from its forest area is the planet's natural biome. The tundra area is a more recent occurrence. All right. However, I can't find any evidence of an unusual phenomenon that could have caused it, like a meteor impact or a freak weather pattern. What's more, there are some areas, even in the tundra itself, where the data is so inconsistent that getting proper parameters is all but impossible. It's almost like we were being jammed. This is no longer a theory. At this point, I can say for certain there is something wrong with that planet. I've been told that Nevarius is a primitive planet, uncultivated and uncivilized. But the picture this data paints is anything but. I've requested permission to go down and take detailed readings myself. And yes, I'm well aware of the risk. But before I do that, I wanted to let you know what I've found so far, since I couldn't have done it without your help. Anyway, now that the first step of my research is done, you'll probably see me around the lobby now and then. I hope you'll say hello if you do. Alright. Later. Missing Scholar. Hey, did you hear the news? Someone went missing on Nevarius. Oh, boy. Word has it he kept hounding the higher-ups until they gave him permission to go investigate it for himself. You'd think a civilian would know better. He probably got so caught up in his research, he forgot to watch his back. They say a search and rescue effort is underway, but I don't have very high hopes. I mean, he wasn't even an ARCS op, just a regular academic. I wonder what he was researching anyway. Girl's Invitation? Uh, this will probably be like the last scene, unless the very next one is the fight scene. This will probably be the last scene uh, we watch uh, this episode. Or at least, I don't know. I guess it depends on how long the exploration later takes. What are you doing here? Looking for someone? Looking for something? Or someone? Well, not that I care, either way. You won't live long if you poke your nose where it doesn't belong. Just like that scholar. Oh, so you're the one. Hmm. I see what's going on here now. If you're looking for something, then I've got no clue what you want, and I don't care. But if you're looking for someone, then go to Lilipa. If you're quick enough, someone just might be waiting for you in the tunnels. All right. You want to know who? You'll just have to find that out for yourself. Because I don't care. Yeah, all right. Not a fight scene. Not yet, anyway.
Which All right, quest do you load in. For? There we go. So now is the time to check out Tokyo. I think a while back, uh, quite a while back, I mentioned uh, that uh, most of these areas I hadn't been to, ap like apart from uh, one that wasn't on the list. This is that one. Uh, this was an area I had explored when I originally played the Japanese version. So, this won't really be new for me. I think it's a point system. Yeah, collect quest points. Good luck! But this is still my first visit uh, on the uh, North American version of the game. I'm a little sad that there's no video for it. Alright. Uh, let's see. Who do I want to bring in? Uh, let's bring in my alt. And... Let's see. Who else to drag out? Let's bring Risa. And... Who else? Uh, I guess another ranger somewhere wouldn't hurt. Uh, who else do we have? Uh, let's see, Aki and Offen. Hmm. Uh, let's bring Aki along. If you would, please. All right. Tokyo Area 1. Let's get started. <laughs> this is Planet Earth, discovered in a separate universe from Oroko's home space. The Tokyo area is especially dense with Earthlings. The combat area has been cordoned off to protect the natives from collateral damage. So give the enemy all you've got. We've confirmed the presence of numerous hostiles called phantasms, created from etheric energy. Stay alert. All right. Let's see what do we got here. Got to go fast. Uh, and I want to head for the yellow area. Boom! Helicopter. Right, wind. Uh, that is the main element to use here. Ow. It's been quite a while since I last played Braver. I'm not using any of the photon art. There we go. Oh, I missed. There we go. The periodic wings. That's part of my weapon glamour. I'm wanting to check it out because I recently got it. Uh, oh, I'm here. Because of the way Braver works. Ow, 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 ow. The way Braver works, they 
can't really see the blade very often. Also, I definitely went Final Fantasy XIV there. It's not a glamour, it's a camo. A weapon camo. That's the proper term in this game. Well, let's see, do I have anything... See, I've seen my sword a bunch here, but that doesn't really show off the blade very well. Uh... Oh, that's just the seeds. Oh, there we go. Dang it, come back here. Take this! I really like the music here. I'm definitely going the wrong way, but whatever. Gotta go fast. back to where I was. I feel like this one's gonna be pretty slow. I mean, hopefully I only have to build up to the halfway point, and then the box will open up. But, uh... I haven't really gotten very far with the point. I guess it's kind of my fault for picking a class that I'm not often with. break parts on some of these enemies. Take a better look at the scenery itself. There's pretty much all tall buildings, but I kind of want to see those tall buildings. You get digital mail. Eat door. 
kind of like that. Vending machine. Coffee shop. Happy shop? I think that's what that says. That is a Q. And Apex Excellent. I do like that some of these shops like have names and stuff. Okay. Ow, 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 aww. Owie. Owie, owie, owie. to go back to that one square. Back when I played the uh, Japanese version, I think it was shortly after I had started playing it, uh, there was a, an interesting uh, collab event involving 7-Eleven, and I think uh, while that event was going on, uh, w one of the shops might have been uh, might have actually been the 7-Eleven, like, kind of textured into the place. Uh, hmm. I actually have to work all the way up to 500 or something. I'm not seeing... I'm seeing the portal that is the exit. Uh, or rather, the original way in. Halfway done, but I don't see a way, uh... another room. Get over here, you! Ow! Oh, careful what you wish for, I guess. Zombie. 
And we're on the move again. South. Hundred remain, and hasn't triggered a portal, a new one anyway. emergency code since uh, starting this mission. Actually, it might have been part of why it's been, it's been slow building up points. Completing the emergency codes would uh, give me a nice boost, but I've only seen one this whole time. Die, Phantom Rex. Just uh, 23 points remain. Ow, what the? Oh, yay, and another roller. Ow. Ow. Alright. That is the same kind of portal, right? It looks like it's the same color, but... And what's this portal here? Oh, that's also to the gateway ship. I really thought there'd be a boss. That's kind of disappointing. Oh well, Las Vegas exploration has been unlocked. That was a place I hadn't been to at all. Until... Uh, the 4th of July event actually uh, featured it in a uh, uh, one of its own urgent quests. Alright, well... Let's see. Eh, probably has uh, room for some more story, actually. Let's see if anything exciting comes up. Hello. Using quest triggers, you'll be able to freely take on certain urgent quests. You'll be able to buy quest triggers from at the free find shop, which at this time is currently uh, having issues. All right. Uh, yeah. I don't care. 
Oh, right. I did have some stuff. Our gems. Yay! Uh, telephone booth. That's a new decoration. Thing to sell later. I probably won't really be picking anything up from a fight in the story. Which quest are you up for? Let's get right to it. Failed assassination and its reasons. Interesting. Major characters appearing. Fourier and the Rogio. <laughs> for coming. You're welcome. I know what you're here for. Follow me. I was going to contact you, but he stopped me because he thought it was too dangerous. Look who's here, Rojo. Ah, I'm so glad to see you again. Look. Oh, please take it easy. You haven't completely healed yet. Ow. <laughs> Still, I'm glad that you're all right. I thought they'd be after you as well. I'm certain now. Arx is hiding something on Nevarius. They must have thought I was probing into that and tried to kill me. That's why I'm here. Though I'm embarrassed to admit that I have no memory of being saved. Hmm. A little while ago, an Arx operative came carrying Rogio, who was severely hurt. That small girl only told me to hide him, and then left. I don't know what happened, but it all seems very dangerous. However, whatever they're hiding must be important enough that they'd kill to keep it a secret. If whoever's behind this didn't want anyone learning what's in the tundra, they should have made the area off limits. But Ark's ops are free to come and go there as they please, so... What did I do that got their attention? I think the problem they had with me was the data I got from the geological survey. I detected F-factor deep within the tundra rather than on the surface. Which means that the fall spawn have been here on Nevarius for a long time. That alone may not be especially noteworthy, but there's more. You tell? I think the fall spawn may have actually created the entire tundra area. I have no idea how exactly that could have happened. But something related to this data touches on something that's off limits to Ark's Ops. And that's why they targeted me. Or so I think. Does this mean there's a fall spawn large enough to create something like the tundra? I feel like there was, but... I'm sorry, I can't seem to remember. I I'll keep looking into it. Alright. Something hidden. Featuring the person who doesn't care. What are you doing here? I have no clue. A request to investigate? From that scholar? What an idiot. He must be gifted with an extreme level of obstinance to keep this up after what he went through. You're pretty naive yourself to accept a request like that. Not that I care or anything. I'm sure you know, but this place isn't normal. It's an anomaly. I don't know the cause, though. All I know is that the photons here are strange. According to that reckless idiot, at least. Let me reiterate. I don't know what's going on here. If you want details, go find that self-proclaimed guardian who went rushing off. Hmm? To where? Don't ask me. That tracks. Now then, I'm gonna head farther in. Farther in... Ugh, I think I've been this way before. You think I'm lost? <laughs> As if I'd never get lost. I 
And a bunch of stuff has opened up. Let's see. Uh, let's start with the sub story. You know the trio of heroes? Here we are! Okay! Behold! Ark's most informed informant! It's me, Patty! Hello, Patty. We're an intel team in name only, really. Patty just uses it as an excuse to talk her head off. Hello, Tia. That's not true at all. I'm being very careful to identify people with tons of juicy info. And now we've got you in our clutches. Like I've got any info, I'm more of the recipient. I'm so sorry for how forceful she is. She's thoughtless, I know. Please just go along with it until you get fed up. So, do you know the trio of heroes? I don't actually. They're the tip of the top. Veritable symbols of heroism. In short, they're the three most famous members of the Council of Six. Ah, the upper half, I guess. I'm pretty sure they're called Regius, Kasra, and... Hmm, the last one is... Clara's Craze. Yeah, that one! The trio of heroes are all, like, symbolic, so their names get passed down from one to the next. Like, the second or the third. Although Regius is still the first of his name. The current Kostra is the second, and Clara's Craze is the third. Not much history there yet. Okay, this scene I actually remember from a while back. But, uh, boy did this get pushed pretty far into the story. So if you keep up the good work and make a name for yourself, then your name might be passed down to others in the future, too. <sighs> Having your name passed down would be so cool. I wonder if my name will... Not in a million years. And I'd rather not be the kind of person who passes my own name down anyway. Alrighty then. Uh... Yeah, alright, it's been kind of a while now. So this is probably a good place to call it. Well... Oh, th this entire thing's been kind of a miss for me today. Uh, I, I hope you guys got something out of it, though. See, this is the button I want. Form emotes, greet. Goodbye, everyone.